Hey guys, it's Waterman Luke here, and this video is going to be about getting fish for my 10 gallon. I have two special guests, John Hi. and my Aunt Sarah behind the camera. And so let's get into it. I also got a plant for the fish tank. It's good for the fish tank because it provides a hiding place and it removes nitrates. But the first thing we need to do is we need to let the fish acclimate. So we're going to take off the top, put it over here. And acclimating is just so the water temperatures in both of the bags, uh, the bag and the tank, like evens out. So we want to get them used to the water without yeah. putting them in a totally different So this will take 10 to 15 minutes, so we'll, we'll be back when that is done. Okay, so the fish are almost done acclimating, but right now we're going to add the fish, I mean the plant first. So first thing we have to do is cut off the top, the tape so we can get the top off. Now we have to gently slide the plant out. Come on. And then we're going to have to wash off all of the gel, which is down here, I think. So we're going to go wash off that gel now. Okay, so we have all of the gel washed off now. And we're going to put it in this back area, back here, right behind the, the coral. Of, yeah, in between the coral and the toxic waste stuff. And what you have to do is you have to bury all the roots. So you make sure the roots can suck up the nutrients. Mm -hmm. Okay, the plant is buried now, and now we, it's been 15 minutes. And the fish are done acclimating. Yeah, acclimating. So, we're going to go grab a cup real quick to so we can pour all this water out, because we don't want this water to go in here because they have different, like, pH and stuff. So, you're probably wanting to know, we got two fancy guppies, one molly. You'll see them better when we put them in there. And an algae eater and two uh, ghost crayfish, I mean ghost shrimp. So we're going to pour them. John's going to hold the net over. Well, to filter out all the bad water and just yeah. get the fish in there. And we're just going to poke a hole in the side. Comment down below which one's your favorite fish. We're going to put in the guppies first because they're usually going to be, they're on the top right now. So hopefully we just get the guppies in. Yeah. Fish like this one up. We almost got a couple fish. Oh, we got one. Yeah, they're almost out. Okay, we just need to get the algae eater out. He's almost out. Okay, so all of them, or is that all? Yeah, all of them are right here. Yeah. So here's a close shot of all the fish. Before we put them. Comment in. down below which one your favorite. The algae eater. Personally, I like the Placo, the algae eater. Okay, so now we're going to put them in and just let them go. Okay, now we're going to do the ghost shrimp. The ghost shrimp, we're not going to pour the water out because, I mean, we're going to try not to get the water in, but these guys jump a lot. So, so we're going to have to, like, grab them with our hands mm -hmm. or just stick the net in the bag. We could just cup our hands. Yeah. Put put them in like this water. Okay, so I'm gonna put the net try to get the net in the bag. Need to rip it a little more. So we emptied out the bowl so we can just pour them in there and then hand scoop each one. Yeah. Or should we use the net? Uh, are both of them in there? Okay. Yes. So this is going to be pretty hard because these suckers do move pretty fast. Okay. I got one of them. So I got the other in my hand. 
He jumped out. He, oh, shoot. Oh, oh, yeah, oh shoot. They're jumpers. He yep, he's good. He's good. I just got a cup in my hand. Okay, he's cup. So, as you see, we will release him, and he just and swims in the water. They'll probably hide in the toxic waste area. At least that's what we're hoping. Yeah, one's back there. And, As yeah. you can see, if you get a shot from right here, all you can see is like a black dot, three black dots, which are their organs and their eyes. Because they do kind of look camouflaged in the sand, which is probably trying to hide from predators. So now we're going to see if they eat. They might not eat because they're brand new to the aquarium. But I'm just going to put in... John's going to feed the algae eater an algae disc. And I'm going to feed them these tropical flakes the, for the mollies, the molly and the guppies. They're probably not going to eat yet, but if they find it, they might eat. The sh ghost shrimp eat anything that's left over on the bottom. This is one of the green pellets for the algae eater, which is right there on the side. So we'll just drop it in. And they will probably eat that soon. What are their names? The Both of these, one of them is... Darwin and one Darwin. of them is Jimmy. And then the ghost shrimps are Luke and John. And then this one is... Jiblet. Jiblet and then... The molly, which is... Is always hiding. Yeah, where is the molly? <laughs> he's probably inside. in that tank right there. Yep. Oh, I yeah, he's in here. Pick it head off. The molly in there is um zipper. Zipper. Because he moves super fast. As you can see, it's like little, but it's still visible. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like this video if you're new. Turn on your post notifications. And also check out my Instagram, it's named Wilderman Lube. See you guys next time.